Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PED. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Absolutely monster move today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one, so let's map out some levels of support and then resistance going into tomorrow. First level of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up here above $2.25. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below $2.25, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can manage to somehow stay up above that level, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Next level of support after that, right here at the $1.95 mark. So, $225, $1.95, and then just because this was such a crazy move, I will map out one more level of support. Usually, I don't like to put too many green lines on, but yeah, this thing is definitely the exception and not the rule. And then the next level would be the bottom portion of this consolidation area right down here around $1.40. So keep an eye on these levels of support from definitely the big picture. So this uh, assumes you have more of a broader time horizon on things, but from the overall, like I said, perspective, it's all about that purple line right there the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, this right here being defined as quote unquote the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full control, no questions asked. As far as levels of resistance, pretty straightforward at this point. And that's just based on where the party finally stopped today. And that was right up there at $2.80. So 280 public enemy number one going into tomorrow. All in all though, you know, at the end of the day, as long as this thing continues to build higher bases over time, then yeah, this thing is only gonna, you know, draw in that many more eyeballs. But uh, very volatile one. I'm sure plenty of people will be watching it tomorrow. I know I will. So yeah, let's see how this one plays out. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.